in this video we're going to be looking at quadratic sequences number patterns we're looking at an example 7 8 11 16 23 32 so we're going to find the first difference 8 minus 7 is 1 11 minus 8 is 3 16 minus 11 is 5 23 minus 16 is 7 32 minus 23 is 9 You'll notice that the first difference is not common. So we're going to go on to find the second difference. 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. 9 minus 7 is 2. You will notice that the second difference is common. And if the second difference is common or is constant, then we can conclude that this is a quadratic number pattern. So the general equation of a quadratic number pattern is Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. So we need to find A, B and C. Remember, those are our term numbers, term 1, term 2, term 3. So if we want to find term 1, we're going to substitute 1 into the formula. If we substitute 1, we get 1 squared times a, which is 1a. 1 times b is 1b plus c. That's term 1 in terms of a, b, c. We can now substitute 2 into this formula. And 2 squared is 4a. Putting 2 in here, we'll get 2b plus c. We can do the same thing for term 3. Next, to find the first difference, we can subtract term 2 minus term 1. So remember, 4a minus a is 3a, 2b minus b is b, and your c's will cancel off. If we take term 3 minus term 2, you'll get 5a plus b. To find the second difference, we're going to take 5a minus 3a is 2a, b minus b cancels off. What I'm interested in, what I have blocked in with a rectangle, 2a 3a plus b, a plus b plus c. These three are our formulas that's going to help us to find a, b, and c. So firstly, let's start with 2a. We know 2a is equal to the second difference, and in this case, 2a is equal to 2. To find a, we're going to divide both sides by 2. That gives us a to be 1. We know that 3a plus b represents the first difference which is 8 minus 7 giving you 1 so we can conclude 3a plus b is equal to 1 we're going to substitute a to be 1 in the formula we need 3 times 1 plus b taking 3 on the other side 1 minus 3 is negative 2 to find c we're going to use the formula a plus b plus c is equal to term 1 a plus b plus 7 a c is equal to 7 we know a is 1 we know b is minus 2 we can substitute that and 1 minus 2 is negative 1 take it on the other side becomes a plus 1 7 plus 1 is 8 we know the formula is tn is equal to an squared plus bn plus c we have our a to be 1 b to be minus 2 c to be 8 and that gives us our formula. Moving on to another example, we're now going to implement the formulas we learned previously. So the first thing is we're going to find the first difference. 5 minus 2 is 3, 12 minus 5 is 7, 23 minus 12 is 11, 38 minus 23 is 15, 57 minus 38 is 19. You'll notice that the first difference is not common, so we're going to go and find the second difference. 7 minus 3 is 4, 11 minus 7 is 4, 15 minus 11 is 4, 19 minus 15 is 4. And we notice that the common, the difference is common, which makes it a quadratic. So the general formula for a quadratic is Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. Now we're going to use the formulas we learned previously. The first one to find A, we know 2A is equal to 4. 
The next formula we know is 3a plus b is equal to 3. And a plus b plus c is equal to the first term, which is 2. So we're going to start off with the bottom. 2a is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 2. We get a to be 2. Next one, 3a plus b is equal to 3. We're going to substitute 2 into a. We end up with 3 times 2 plus b. 3 times 2 is 6. Taken on the other side becomes 3 minus 6, giving you negative 3. To find c, we're going to use the formula a plus b plus c is equal to 2. We know a is 2. We know b is minus 3. We're going to substitute those values. And 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Take it on the other side. Becomes plus 1, which gives me 2 plus 1 is 3. So substituting a to be 2, we get 2n squared. b is minus 3n. And c is 3. We have our formula. Now, if, we've given, if we are given a formula, like tn is equal to minus n squared plus n plus 18, with this formula, we can find any term. For example, if we want to find term 12, all we have to do is substitute 12 into n. Like what we've done here, we'll get minus 12 squared plus 12 plus 18. You can use a calculator. And that should give us minus 1, 1, 4. Another question we can have is which term is equal to negative 72? So we know that Tn is equal to negative 72. So we're going to replace Tn with negative 72, which is equal to our formula minus n squared plus n plus 18. We're going to take everything to the left. Minus becomes a plus. Plus n becomes a minus n. And minus 72 minus 18 gives you negative 90. So we can factorize. If your factorization is not good, you can use the formula. So we end up with n minus 10 into n plus 9 is equal to 0. From here, we got two answers for n. n is 10 or n is equal to minus 9. Now remember, n represents the position or the term. And n cannot be a negative. It can only be a natural number. So we will not accept n to be negative 9. Therefore, our solution would be n is equal to 10. Thank you.